dark figure of crime, Korean, Hanja, RR, M. Susalin, Lit. Unknown Murders, is a 2018 South Korean crime drama film directed by Kim Taekyun. It stars Kim Yoon Sook and Ju Ji Hoon. It was released on October 3, 2018. The film was loosely inspired by the 869th episode of Unanswered KO, a South Korean investigation television program, which tells a real story that happened in Busan, where murders were never reported, bodies were never found, and investigations never happened. Kim is a widowed narcotics officer who meets with a potential informant named Kong. As they are talking at a restaurant, Kong is arrested by the homicide division for killing his girlfriend. He confesses to the murder and is put behind bars. A few months later, Kong contacts Kim from prison and claims that he has murdered six other people. However, he refuses to talk to the homicide detectives who he claims fabricated evidence against him to have him imprisoned. Kim agrees to find the real evidence in exchange for information on the remaining six bodies. Kim uncovers the actual evidence with Kang's information, proving the homicide detectives fabricated his case. As a result, the detectives are charged and Kang's sentence is reduced. In return, Kang provides information on the six remaining victims as promised. Of the six remaining victims, Kim first investigates the disappearance of Oh Ji Hee, a former swimmer who is forced to work at a nightclub to support her grandmother in the village. Kong claims he killed her one night after driving her away from the city while working there as a cab driver. Throughout his investigation, Kim is repeatedly told by people he questions about Kong that he is not to be trusted. Still, Kim perseveres. With much difficulty, Kong finds part of O's remains. However, when he is interrogated by Kim, Kong lies on record about Kim coercing him to make false statements and bribing him to do so. Furthermore, DNA results show that the remains are not O's. The prosecutor cannot indict Kong as the evidence against him is not convincing enough. Kim feels cheated and goes to his former mentor, Song for advice. Song advises Kim to stop pursuing Kang's case since the murderer is trying to make himself appear innocent in other crimes to overturn the sentencing for the crime he is serving time for at present. Kim also visits Kang's older sister, who reveals Kang killed their father when he was just a boy. She helped him cover up the murder. As a result, Kang grew up to become a serial killer who became responsible for many other deaths. Kim cannot bring this case to court since the statute of limitations has ended. With the help of his new partner, Joe, Kim start investigating a second victim, Wang, whom Kang claims he killed by pushing down a flight of stairs. Kim and Joe look into old files of unsolved cases and find one matching Huang's murder. The case is brought to trial but since there is only circumstantial evidence, Kang is not convicted of the murder. As a result, Kim is demoted and Joe is transferred to the narcotics division. While clearing his desk, Kim notices an IUD birth control implant in the crime scene photo of the unidentified remains. He then gets a list of all the women who had IUD implants around the time of the murder and discovers one reported missing woman, Park Mi Yong. Kim quickly learns that Park was Kang's girlfriend at the time. She came to the city with her young son. As he grew older, Park realized that her constant fighting with Kong was not healthy for her son. She tries to break up with Kong and this is when he kills her. Kim tracks down Park's son, who is a teenager now, and has him testify in court against Kong. Kong is finally sentenced to life imprisonment.